Professor Pineco here, and as you can see, I'm playing Pokemon Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. Wait a minute, that's not right. Yeah, that's right. Wait, is that wrong? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be uh, starting a Story of Seasons Trio of Towns playthrough, and we're going to go ahead and select a new game. We are going to decide between seedling mode and veteran mode. If you've ever played a Story of Seasons or a Harvest Moon game, you may want to go with veteran mode. The biggest difference between the two is in, in seedling mode, you'll have stamina conservation. So you lose half as much stamina when using tools. For example, if you were using a basic level hoe, you'd lose 20 stamina and in, veteran mo uh, or in veteran mode and only 10 in seedling mode. And also, you're going to get shop discounts in seedling mode. Everything is going to be about 30% less expensive. So I do suggest if you are playing a little bit more of a casual playthrough of this game that you start in seedling mode. You'll get a little seedling uh, by your name and it doesn't really affect anything else. And that is actually what we're going to do our playthrough in. I'm gonna go ahead and click seedling mode. Dun, dun, dun. As you can see, we can be a male or a female character. The gender you pick does have um, a very big effect in the game because you can't change your gender halfway through the game. And it'll be the different marriage candidates that you can have. I am playing currently as a female in my other playthrough of this game and I will stay a female. We're going to go ahead and customize our appearance. We're going to go with our change our skin tone first. We can have really really pale snow color a porcelain color an olive color or a coffee color i think we're gonna go ahead and stay with the peach i think that is the nicest uh, skin tone that they have for the game now we're gonna look at all the different faces we can have a cool look oh a baby face look a bright eyed face a smiley face which drives me nuts because just like brock i hate it when you can't open your eyes we have a cutie pie face an intelligent look, a mischievous look, an alluring look, a calm, uh, calm counten countenance, calm countenance, I don't know, and natural look. Uh, for my main playthrough, I did a alluring look, but today we're just going to stick with natural look. Now we're going to get to pick our eye color. Now one thing I've noticed that if you can pick all these different kinds of eye colors, but some of them like really, really freak you out after a while, like just staring at your character having that eye color. So do pick pretty, um, like don't, don't pick something too, too crazy. So we're actually going to go with emerald green. Now we also have all these different hair colors. We can have fun hair. Um, I really like the blues. I think they look super awesome. And just your eyebrow color doesn't change, you know, because you're just this this girl that dyed her hair crazy colors. We could go with purple to do our playthrough, but I think we might go with red hair because I do like what the dark red hair looks like. So there we go. We're going to confirm her as our character. Our birthday, because my birthday is in the fall, it's on fall 15, I'm going to keep it with that. And now we're going to name our character. And of course, we're going to name her Pineco. Now, you'll notice with all the Story of Seasons uh, naming things that there's only six characters, which works really well if you're using a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon names, but not so much for any other name. It is something that really, really bothers me. So now we get to pick our personality type to customize our personality. We have Animal Lover, which will start you off with one heart of uh, with one heart every time you obtain a new animal or a pet on your farm, whether born or brought. The animal bought the animal will start out with one heart of friendship. We have Fisher. The fish you catch will have a higher level star rank because you have a higher starting fishing level. You have Sports Enthusiast. You will start the game with 6 stamina hearts instead of the default 5. You can never have more than 10 stamina hearts in the game, no matter how many you start with. Tycoon. Your farming adventure will start with 50,000 gold instead of 4,000 gold. And, you know, that's pretty awesome. Especially with a seedling mode and everything being a little less expensive. Charmer. You can also have each uh, person you initially meet will have a bonus friendship with you. And marriage candidates will start with a base friendship of t uh, 10,000 points, which is one heart. And each normal villager will be 5,000 points, which is a half a heart. You can see all your friendship levels by using the bookshelf inside your farmhouse, which we will go through. 
And just so you know, if you have a, if this is like your second playthrough of the game and you just really wanted to watch somebody play the game, you can also, uh, af uh, if you have a file that you've proven your worth in, which is completing the game, and also gotten your talents to prestige rank of S, you can start with weakling mode for a greater challenge. You can select the personality type that will reduce your stamina hearts by two. And uh, the maximum amount of stamina you can ever have is seven. And then you can also do Miracle, which I'm really excited about getting a chance to do at some point in my personal playthrough. And this personality will use save da data from your current save game and carry parts to your new game. The continued on features will be the number of stamina hearts you have, your money, your cooking recipes, your clothes, items, trophies, and tied to that cooking level and outfit collecting, collecting and your farm degree level. The saved game will not uh, will pull your data from, but will not erase your intention, your your other game. Blah. <laughs> That's a lot of words, guys. And if you do need to know more about that, you can always uh, find it online. I'll definitely be putting the link to the website I'll be using throughout this walkthrough in the descriptions of the videos. We're gonna start with Tycoon because I think that having. Uh, money is the best thing to start with. We're going to confirm and start our story of Seasons Trio of Towns. Memories. Pinko, dear, over here. Come to where mommy is. This is Marlena. She is your mom. <gasps> See here? We are at the petting farm. La la la. Let's go see the animals, shall we? Mm-hmm. Go on, Pinko. Pet the nice cow. Uh, no. You don't have to be scared. I'm sure it will be a very ha happy for a pat. Dot, dot, dot. Moo, I instantly love you. <gasps> Shocking! There you see, it's saying thank you. Isn't that wonderful? Love the sound of the cow in this game and all our like story of season games. Just that moo. That perfect moo. It's exactly what moo should sound like. If you've ever been at a real farm, cows are really, really big. They scare. They scare Amelia. Yeah. Oh, look here. We can pick some strawberries to eat. Don't they look delicious? Okay, look at the size of the strawberry. Like, she got a bigger strawberry than me. Like, quite a bit bigger. So super delicious. Love, love, love. Sing, sing, sing. I want more strawberries. Hooray! Sing, sing, sing. Maybe reading in between the lines here. Because these are memories. Well, Panko, did you have fun at the petting farm? Yay! Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Gasp! You want to live here now, do you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I guess you must have really enjoyed yourself. Well, then, we're just going to have to come back sometime again, aren't we? I'll take you back whenever you'd like, dear. <gasps> Mommy, you're the best. You make me sparkle. Hooray! 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 Ho 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 ho! Hooray! 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 Sister! Big sister! <gasps> that was all a memory! Or maybe a dream. Oh wow! I just I, I just nodded off on the couch. What are you doing sleeping on the couch? That can't be good for your neck. This is Lynn, my little sister. What you were dream what were you dreaming about anyway? You had a big silly grin on your face. Oh nothing. Well then whatever. Mom says we have to come help her get ready for dinner. See you in the kitchen. Can't let anyone know that I'm dreaming of farming. La 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 la. Ba, ba, ba. What's going on, Dad? You only just got home and you're already calling a family meeting? Yes, about that. I know this is rather sudden, but we're going to be moving at the end of the month. <gasps> mm. ah. What? Again? Oh, I really like this town, too. 
I know, Lin, but your father has a job in a foreign trade, and it moving is part of that. Try not to be too harsh on him. So, darling, where are we moving next? It's a town far across the ocean to the west. I booked a boat to take us there in a few days. Oh my, is it really that far away? I regret having to put you all through this so often, but please try to understand that it's out of my hands. Besides, I hear the place we're moving to is just as nice as here, and I'm sure you'll all grow to love it. Oh, really? Now I'm curious! Hmm... Huh? Pico dear, what's wrong? You haven't said a single word this whole time! Blah, blah, blah! <gasps> what? You want to move out on your own? Well, no wonder you were so quiet! You must have been giving that some serious thought! Moving out, hmm? Well, you're a grown adult now. It's your decision to make. And coordinating that with the same time as our move is a wise move. However, am I right in assuming you've thought everything through? What will you be doing to support yourself? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> You're gonna be a farmer? What? Really? Why? That's some serious hard work. I always knew you had weird tastes. You always did love a f have a fondness for plants and animals ever since you were a child. I'm not surprised at all you'd want to be a farmer. Thanks, Mom. No, out of the question. <gasps> Don't misunderstand me. Farming is a normal profe noble profession. I have nothing but the highest respect for farmers. However, it's not simple or an easy job that anyone could take on a whim and hope to succeed. What do you know about animal husband husbandry? Crop tending. Have you any idea how to manage a business? If you're not even enough to believe you have any chance of supporting yourself in this, then think again! Gasp! Blah, blah, blah! Arr. No! You're in no way prepared to be a farmer. I will not allow it. <sighs> blah, blah, blah! Oof. Blah, blah, blah. Blah blah. The argument went back and forth for hours, well into the wee hours of the night. Two weeks later, Pinko won. That's right. Pinko, are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? It will be a very long trip, you know. Be careful. Yeah, I love you, mummy. <laughs> You're really gonna go, huh? I guess I might come out and visit you sometime if I feel like it. Yeah, that'd be great, sis. Father? Pico, understand this. I still don't believe you'll be able to support yourself as a farmer. All I'm doing is giving you the chance to learn that for yourself. Yeah, Dad. Go see my little brother. He's an excellent farmer. Let him teach you. He'll tell you flat out you have no promise of being a good farmer. I mean, or if you're going to be a good farmer or not. Have a safe trip, Pinko. Once you've settled in, send us a letter. We'll be waiting. See ya, Pinko. Good luck. I will, Mom, but the post office is going to be closed for at least a month. Spoilers! <laughs> and so, guys, the journey truly be begins. Pinko parts way with her family to start a new life. First stop is Uncle Frank's farm in a little town called Weston. This is where we're going to pause for the first episode of Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. I hope you guys will all enjoy my adventure in farming. And I hope that I'll be able to give you guys some neat tips and tricks to get you through this game. Or even just something fun to watch. Thank you everyone, and I hope all of your crops are golden.